We set these up about five years ago to address what I thought was a need in PhD research, which was time to discuss methods. A lot of conferences focus on results and there's very little time for discussion of how you arrived at results. They want something nice and exciting, but not so interested, it seems, on how you arrived there. So the point of this PhD workshop is to focus on methodology, not results. What the academic forum gives to students is a chance to get critical feedback from independent researchers at an early stage in their research. Well, everybody's here really. I mean, you hear about all these names when you read about them and they're all in one place. And I mean, it's not intimidating in any way. It's quite exciting because you read about their work. You really want to talk to them. And they're also really interested in talking to you, which is what I find very, well, it's, it's very exciting to put it in one word. I have a lot of colleagues at my own university, but, but these people is working on things much more similar to mine. So it, it's, the discussion we are having are much more uh, interesting for me and for my research. Um, I hope to have the ability to, to pitch my own research and both reflect on the emphasis I put on, on the importance of my work and also how my research can be translated. And uh, I hope to have the opportunity to then participate in the conference and to meet researchers from around the world. So these are the people that will be the future researchers in our field. So it's essential to have these opportunities to, to meet people, to discuss ideas, to make contacts, to, to know who to ask questions to in the future, uh, to set up future research collaborations. These are the people that uh, will become lifetime colleagues and friends. And so I think this is the, the forum and the opportunity where those exchanges first occur. The students are they want to be here, they're very engaged, they are motivated to understand each other's work and, and present their own work in, in the best possible way. Uh, and so you hear a lot of it, um, positive, enthusiastic and supportive uh, feedback, constructive feedback. Um, so it, it's the opposite in a way of an exam situation where students can be criticised and um, can be questioned in a, in a rather harsh and uh, uh, in a way to test their uh, knowledge. Here it's more about encouraging the students to think about what they're doing and to identify the strengths in their work and to build on those strengths. So I think it's a, it's a really positive um, experience in that sense. So for me it's opening up new avenues of thinking uh, and of exploration. It also puts my own teaching and my own uh, PhD students into a context so I can see well is what I'm doing somehow limiting or are there opportunities now through the contacts we've established for, for my students and for my own career to, to thrive and to grow in, in different directions that aren't anticipated before such an event as this. We host the Academic Forum every second year together with our Daylight Symposium. And we do this because we would like to engage ourselves and to stimulate and discuss uh, research and methodology with the students. And of course we are happy to see that this idea of bringing students together and discuss research and methodology is picked up by other communities and uh, we see this as a great opportunity and a good way to encourage students to work with topics like daylight and fresh air and to improve the research we need for the next generation of buildings and the way we live.